Welcome to Inside Out Boys with your host, Cody Bass. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Big hello to the new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing. Um, I hope everybody had a fantastic Labor Day. And I uh, hope that you spend it with those that you love. And I hope everybody and their families are doing well. Um, although it's a little bit late, I want to say a happy birthday to two. This old outboard. If you ain't checked out that channel yet, you need to get over there and check it out because it's fantastic. So, we're going to start um, on another motor here. We wrapped up that little Yamaha. And rather than go to another Yamaha, Decided I'm going to start on this 35 Evan route, and we'll see what it's going to be all about, because I don't know. I haven't dug into it yet. But here's the motor in question. The 35. Haven't even looked under the hood yet. So we can look together. Well, so there's my forward, neutral, and reverse. Something I noticed right off the bat. Got some busted pan bolts. Well, actually, one's broke off, and one's just. Pretty loose, saw that. Something else I noticed. So he's put this bolt should go over there. Or no. Well that one's loose too, so I don't know if they're just the wrong size or but something up with that. His clutch dog mechanisms. All broke. See the wires? There's a piece that goes around there and all. The flat piece. Somebody's had this all apart. And, and didn't put it back correctly, apparently. L77JC4, brand new. Brand smacking and jacking new. gap on one of them is a little too close but they are brand new ones and so the sparks should be right in here if there is any well I've got two cylinders firing I am zeroed out Zero, 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 yeah, zero. This is the top cylinders. That one felt good too. Looked like it had a lot of oompas, oompas de noopas. Oh yeah. We got a hundred, twenty, twenty-five. No, oh, 130. 120, 25, 30. We got 130. I'm going to do that bottom one again. I'm going to do the bottom again. That's a bit of an issue right there. What we'll do, if that's at 100 again, I'll probably spray some tri-flow in there. 
We are zero. Zero. Let's give this bottom one another, another ride on the pony. What we get? What we get? Ninety-five, a hundred. So getting 125 100. might have a little bit of stuck rings going on or something I'm, gonna, I'm not going to squirt any triflo in the top one just this bottom one now let's see what we get Might have to do is get it where I can start the thing. Zero. And then uh, run it a little bit. See if they even out better. Uh. What we get? What we get? Ninety-five to a hundred, right at a hundred. So I think she'll start on that. But uh, so I got me some spark, got some compression. One cylinder's a good twenty, thirty psi higher than the other. Though that's not good. We might have a little bit of. Stuck rings, we might have a little bit of head gas coming to me. Something going on, I don't know. But what I'm gonna do, I think I have one of these recoils already put back together, or I'll have to grab the parts. Get in there, and we put it in the old tankles. Give us some yankles. Yeah, I just went out and grabbed another recoil out of my pile. But the question is, why? Why was it destroyed? Most likely he was aping on it. Most likely. I say we just put her in the tank and see what we get. See if we get some. Hopefully this is gonna be all right. Feels like it is. Oh. Feels a little tight in there though. For some reason. Well, let me shoot some try flow down its throat. Which didn't close that time, it did the first time. Now it did. Is this alright? That's way too far out. Way too far out. Alright, so there's, there's a half and one, and a half and two. Should be about more like it. Alright, let's see what we get. Nothing is she. Oh, 
can. Uh huh. So at this point, at this point, I think it's cleany the carburetor time. Toy. But the vampires don't play. They say ain't playing that mess. It's on there too. There it comes. There it comes. Arbor denator and a full. You remember the old owl? How many licks does it take to get to the center of a touchy pop? Now only us geezers know that kind of information. A one, a two. Three. Three. Showing my age, ain't I? Geezer status. That's all right. At least I know how many licks it takes to get to the center of a touch pot. See what we get. Pretty daggum nice. Oh, I spoke too soon. Look at the booger. Look at that salt. See that? Look at the booger. Yes, here. Look at all that. Yeah. There you salt. There's some more of it right there. Boogers. So oh yeah, there's a bunch of booger in there. A bunch of bug in there. Now on these OMCs 20, 25, 30, 35s, right up in here is what they call the transition chamber. And uh on these ones here, there's some holes. Here's the transition chamber, that Welch plug. And if you're not going to take that out, you should at least come in here with a wire that looks like that one and make sure they're open. Just stick the wire in there. You'll see them. See, that wire's down in that hole there now. And there's like four of them in there. And make sure they're open, all of them. Okay, so you get the idea. Make sure they're open. Yeah, can tell if that one's open or not. Okay, so those are all open. Then I take one of these long ones and come up through the immersion emulsion tube okay we got the car back on I hooked it up and I felt gas go into it so we're gonna give it a pull and see if we get anything and it was full of buggers the buggers were everywhere so let me get you a little bit further over here so I don't knock the camera down. Uh, why is that doing that? Right there. That's what I thought. All right. You gonna see? Actually, I'm gonna put your foot back. <laughs> I'll get it right. Okay, 
let's see what we get. I know it's getting a little late and darkish, and my camera don't do well. This one don't in the dark. So I'm going to squeeze the bulb. I'm not going to choke it because I sprayed all that triflo in there. Let's see what we get. You're not going to see any. I don't have a propeller on this. It's sitting over there on the ground. Let's try that again. Get your monkey. that cow cow pan rattling around isn't that some good chow that's king crab A bunch of it. Red King Crap. Happy Labor Day, everybody. pan so what I'm going to do or what I've partially done is take my, my drill and if you see I drilled a hole right beside where the original bolt went through the aluminum piece here and then right through the pan and I'll do the same over there and then I'll be able to put two bolts through there, bolts and nuts. And that'll at least keep the pan from flopping around. Um, these are, there's just no room for me to get those out from the inside. And the, this one's already busted off flush. So I'll drill another hole here, I'll have a hole here, I'll come through the pan with a bolt and a nut, and uh, I'll put a couple rubber washers. You can see my nut here and my nut there and right there on the tip you can see I got those star washers up under there so that cow pen is good in got a recoil starter. We cleaned the carpet denator. 
I fixed the pan bolts good enough. But instead of changing out the coils and the power pack and so forth, I had spark. Dressed up the propeller that was on here. Went and got a thrust washer, nut, and all that. Put it on. Put it in the tank. Started it up. Put it in forward gear. Water started churning, and then it jumped out of gear. Put it back in forward gear, jump out of gear. Put it reversed, it's fine. So, I looked at the linkages and stuff. You can see I got the little water intake covers off and it don't look like it goes up very far to me, or it even shifts very far, but that's as far as I can get that lower unit to come up. And we're in neutral. There's reverse. And I got it. Neutral. Forward. Nothing. So I think we've got a bum lower unit. Well. That's a little gremlin I didn't see coming with that lower unit, um, but uh, I'm not, you know, too far into it. All we basically did was um, clean a carburetor, drill some bolt holes, and uh, zip on a new recoil. So I'm going to have to call the owner on this one and see just how much he wants to spend. It's totally repairable, um, but it ain't staying in forward gear, and I can tell um, it, it just seems like something ain't right in that lower unit. So I have to watch it when I get started on these engines sometimes. I just get going like that, and uh, I should have tested that lower unit better than I did. If you look at the beginning of the video, um, I did make sure it was shifting and everything sounded good but I didn't have the propeller on the shaft and I should have but I don't know I don't know if it would have shown up or not because the engine will go in for it it just jumps out and so me pushing it with my foot I doubt that would have made it pop out of gear so but um, he's into it for a little bit uh, right now so I'm gonna have to call him and see if he wants me to go any further it still needs a lot that lower unit and some other things need to be gone over with it and uh, and then there's the the compression issue um, to be satisfied with this engine I would need to pull the head on it and look in there so I'm gonna call him see if he wants me to pull the head look at the cylinder um, possibly switch out the lower unit but right now until I make that phone call, this is going to be a wrap, and thank you for watching. More vids are coming on Inside Out Boys with Cody Bass.